Assalamu alaikum. We all seek guidance in our lives, don't we? But where does the most valuable guidance come from? Today, I want to share with you seven golden pieces of advice from Prophet Muhammad that illuminate our lives. These pieces of advice hold precious lessons that guide us both in this world and in the hereafter. So let's explore these invaluable teachings together. Patience is considered one of the fundamental virtues in Islam. The challenges we face in life often test our endurance and can wear us down. However, patience is a testament to our resilience and determination in the face of these difficulties. The Prophet Muhammad described patience as half of faith, encouraging us to remain patient when faced with adversity. Patience is not merely about enduring hardships. It also encompasses the positive attitude and strong will we exhibit while dealing with challenges. Being patient demonstrates a believer's complete submission to and trust in Allah. When we encounter difficulties, showing patience strengthens our connection to Allah. Patience reminds us of the rewards promised by Allah, serving as a source of motivation to persevere through tough times. The Prophet emphasized that the end of patience is safety, teaching us that every hardship is temporary and should be met with patience. When faced with difficulties, patience not only matures us, but also deepens our faith. Patience fosters solidarity and unity within the community as individuals who bear hardships with patience contribute to a more resilient and cohesive society. Patience is a virtue that should be applied in every moment of life regardless of the magnitude of the difficulty and this virtue holds immense value in the sight of Allah. In recent days, the violent and brutal attacks in Palestine, especially in Gaza, are heartbreaking for everyone. One should not remain silent about this cruelty that kills innocent civilians and causes great suffering to children and families. We must clearly state that we stand against such abnormal humanitarian attacks and stand with our Palestinian brothers. My request to all brothers who watch this video is to support our Palestinian brothers as announced by Free Palestine in the comments, we must make our voices heard in unity and solidarity and shout out our support against oppression. You can help more people reach it by subscribing to our channel, liking and sharing our video. I am waiting for your support to show our support to the oppressed and strong together. May God help our Palestinian brothers. Our prayers are direct. Let's not forget that the voice of an oppressed person can be the echo of the whole world, with greetings and prayers. Knowledge is one of the most fundamental and valuable concepts in Islam. It encompasses not only worldly knowledge, but also serves as a guide that prepares a person for the afterlife. Islam encourages the pursuit of knowledge in all areas of life and promotes the attainment of wisdom. The Prophet Muhammad emphasized the sacred duty of seeking knowledge by stating, seek knowledge even if it is in China, highlighting the importance and sanctity of this quest. Knowledge is one of the most crucial elements that shape a Muslim's life, guiding them and showing them the right path. In Islam, knowledge is not only essential for individual development, but also plays a significant role in societal advancement and prosperity. Knowledge broadens a person's perspective, develops their thinking, and protects them from ignorance. Knowledge increases a person's closeness to Allah. It helps us understand the universe He created, how it functions, and comprehend the signs of Allah. Through knowledge, a Muslim gains a deeper understanding of Allah's greatness and power, thereby strengthening their faith in Him. For this reason, Learning is considered an act of worship in Islam. Knowledge is not merely a tool, it is a guide on the path to Allah. A knowledgeable person can distinguish between right and wrong, live a just life, and perform deeds beneficial for both this world and the hereafter. Knowledge shields a person from ignorance, misguidance, and false beliefs. Therefore, Islam commands the pursuit of knowledge and the application of what is learned in daily life. The pursuit of knowledge is a journey that should continue throughout a Muslim's life. This journey nourishes both the mind and the soul. Acquiring knowledge 
contributes to personal growth and benefits society as a whole. An informed person becomes a guide and leader within their community. Knowledge is also the most critical element for the growth and progress of a nation. A society equipped with knowledge becomes stronger, more just and more prosperous. Therefore, Islam has made the pursuit of knowledge a mandatory duty for every Muslim. Learning should not be limited to religious knowledge alone. Subjects such as science, technology and medicine should also be pursued. Islam, as a religion that balances both worldly and spiritual needs, aims for success in both areas. Knowledge also shapes a person's character and morality. A knowledgeable person becomes more conscious, understanding and tolerant. Knowledge keeps a person away from arrogance and makes them more humble because it reminds them of how little they know and how much there is yet to learn. This realization drives them to continue seeking knowledge and personal growth. Knowledge also aids a person in fulfilling their duties to Allah more effectively. A knowledgeable person performs their worship with greater awareness and adheres more strictly to Allah's commands and prohibitions. Knowledge broadens a person's perspective on both this world and the hereafter and teaches them how to succeed in both realms. Islam sees not only the pursuit of knowledge as essential, but also considers sharing that knowledge with others as a great responsibility. A knowledgeable person helps others find the right path by sharing what they have learned. Knowledge grows when shared, and this growth increases the general welfare and peace within society. Therefore, Islam considers hoarding knowledge a grave sin and sees the dissemination of knowledge as an act of worship. An informed society is a strong society. Knowledge brings people together, strengthens bonds between them, and fosters social peace. This is why a Muslim should always seek knowledge, apply what they have learned, and strive to share this knowledge with others. Sincerity is at the very core of Islam and is one of the most fundamental virtues that a believer must possess in their faith and worship. Sincerity means that in everything a person does or says, they should genuinely reflect their belief and devotion to Allah. Known as ikhlas in Arabic, this concept emphasizes that a believer's intentions and actions should be pure and free from any ulterior motives solely aimed at gaining the pleasure of Allah. Sincerity must reside in the heart and guide every action. Without sincerity, no act of worship or goodness, no matter how grand it may appear, will be accepted by Allah. In Islam, intention is the essence of any deed, and this essence only gains significance through sincerity. The Prophet Muhammad highlighted the connection between sincerity and faith, advising Muslims to be sincere in all their deeds. He said, actions are judged by intentions, underscoring the importance of performing every act of worship and goodness with the intention of pleasing Allah. This shows how crucial one's intention is in every situation they encounter in life. Sincerity strengthens a person's devotion and faith in Allah, for an act of worship performed with sincerity brings a person closer to Allah. Sincerity also brings inner peace and tranquility, as a heart filled with sincerity keeps a person away from falsehood, hypocrisy, and deceit. This fosters greater honesty, trustworthiness, and genuineness in a believer's relationship with Allah and others. Sincerity is not just an attribute that should be shown towards Allah, but also towards other people. Being sincere in words and actions strengthens trust and love within society. Every act done with sincerity is blessed by Allah and yields beneficial outcomes. People appreciate good deeds and words that come from a sincere heart. And those who are sincere are more loved and respected in society. Sincerity also requires a person to be honest with themselves. Admitting one's own mistakes and shortcomings and striving to correct them is part of sincerity. This humility shields a person from arrogance and fosters a spirit of humility. A life devoid of sincerity is one of pretense and show. 
Such a life leaves a person inwardly dissatisfied and restless because true happiness and peace can only be achieved through sincerity. Allah loves his sincere servants and showers them with his mercy. Every deed performed with sincerity is rewarded generously in both this world and the hereafter. Islam places great importance not just on outward appearances, but on the intentions and sincerity of the heart. Therefore, sincerity should be a guiding principle in a believer's life, influencing all their actions. Sincerity deepens a person's trust in and submission to Allah. This trust makes a believer stronger and more resilient in the face of worldly challenges. Prayers offered with sincerity are more likely to be accepted by Allah, and every act of worship performed sincerely draws a person closer to Allah. This closeness illuminates the believer's life like a beacon, keeping them away from all forms of darkness and doubt. Sincerity gives meaning and value to a person's life, because every deed performed with sincerity paves the way for success both in this world and in the hereafter, by the will of Allah. Therefore, acting with sincerity in every endeavor is one of the most crucial steps for a believer to find peace within themselves and to earn the pleasure of Allah. Gratitude is one of the most fundamental concepts in Islam and serves as one of the most profound ways for believers to express their devotion to Allah. Gratitude means recognizing every blessing, every beauty in life, and thanking Allah for them, feeling a deep sense of appreciation. Throughout our lives, we are surrounded by countless blessings. Every breath we take, every bite we eat, every moment we spend with our loved ones is a great gift from our Lord. However, we often live without recognizing these blessings and neglect to express our gratitude. Yet, gratitude is not just a word. It is an attitude that should be reflected in every aspect of our lives. Gratitude fosters a deep connection with Allah in a believer's heart. A Muslim knows that everything they have comes from Allah and that nothing is solely the result of their own efforts. This awareness makes a person more humble and modest. Expressing gratitude changes one's perspective on life. By focusing on what we have, we learn to see the blessings rather than the deficiencies. This in turn enhances inner peace and helps one view life through a more positive lens. Ingratitude, on the other hand, leads to dissatisfaction, a constant state of seeking and unhappiness. Recognizing and appreciating blessings increases both individual and collective well-being and peace. A grateful person becomes more generous, more sharing, and more compassionate. The Prophet Muhammad emphasized the importance of gratitude throughout his life and continuously advised his followers to be thankful. He would pray long into the night, expressing gratitude for the blessings bestowed upon him. Once, when our mother Aisha, R.A., asked him why he prayed so long, he replied, Should I not be a grateful servant? This response illustrates the profound significance of gratitude and its critical role in the life of a believer. Gratitude is a practice that should be maintained not only in good times but also in times of hardship. For behind every difficulty lies an ease and behind every struggle a hidden blessing. A believer who lives with this awareness expresses gratitude even in challenging times, knowing that these challenges will make them stronger, more patient, and more devoted to Allah. Gratitude strengthens a person's trust and submission to Allah. Being grateful is one of the most effective ways to earn Allah's pleasure and draw closer to Him. The more we express gratitude for our blessings, the more Allah increases those blessings, bringing peace and happiness both in this world and in the hereafter. Gratitude also enhances respect and love among people. Those who express thanks to one another build stronger relationships and foster more harmony and peace within society. A grateful community attracts Allah's mercy and experiences increased prosperity. Therefore, 
Gratitude is not just an individual act of worship, but also the key to social peace and harmony. Gratitude is a balancing factor in a believer's life. It protects a person from arrogance, selfishness and dissatisfaction, making them more humble, more compassionate and happier. Justice is one of the highest values in Islam and holds immense importance in a believer's life. Justice means upholding what is right in all situations, giving people what they deserve and standing against injustice. Islam teaches that justice is the cornerstone of society. Without justice, neither individual peace nor social harmony can be achieved. The Prophet Muhammad exemplified the highest standards of justice throughout his life and advised his followers to be just in all their dealings. He emphasized that justice should not only be practiced in legal matters but also in daily life. For a Muslim, justice means acting in accordance with Allah's commands and always standing up for the truth. Justice also requires a person to be fair to themselves, avoiding actions that harm themselves or others. Ensuring justice within society strengthens trust among individuals and contributes to the preservation of social order. Justice should be distributed equitably, not only among individuals, but also among different segments of society. Islam teaches that everyone, whether strong or weak, rich or poor, is entitled to equal rights. Justice must be deeply rooted in a person's heart and mind. This virtue should be applied in every aspect of life, and the sense of justice should reflect in all of a person's actions. Justice is one of the virtues most beloved by Allah, and Allah loves and rewards those who are just. Leading a life of justice brings peace and happiness, not only in this world, but also in the hereafter. Justice matures a person, granting them wisdom and insight. Where there is no justice, chaos and oppression prevail. Therefore, establishing justice is both an individual and a collective responsibility in Islam. Kindness is one of the core teachings of Islam and holds a significant place in the life of every believer. Performing acts of kindness is not just about benefiting others, it is also a form of worship aimed at earning Allah's pleasure. Islam encourages showing compassion and empathy towards people, helping those in need, protecting the vulnerable, and contributing to the welfare of society. The Prophet Muhammad consistently advised doing good deeds and exemplified this in his own life. He demonstrated the importance of kindness both through his words and actions. Engaging in acts of kindness purifies the heart and brings a sense of spiritual peace. Helping others and contributing to their happiness positively impacts one's own spiritual development. Kindness strengthens the bonds of solidarity and brotherhood in society, fostering love and respect among people. Acts of kindness are not limited to material assistance. Offering a kind word, providing support, or boosting someone's morale are also forms of kindness. Islam teaches that kindness should be sincere, free from any showmanship or self-interest. True kindness is an act performed without expecting anything in return and stems from genuine intentions. Moreover, kindness strengthens the bond between a person and Allah, as Allah loves and rewards those who do good deeds. Kindness is not only significant in this life, but also in the hereafter, where it will be recorded in one's book of deeds. A life filled with kindness will lead to happiness and peace, both in this world and in the afterlife. Kindness enhances a person's character, making them more compassionate, understanding and just. Therefore, in Islam, performing acts of kindness is not just a virtue, but also a responsibility. Humility is one of the most crucial virtues at the heart of Islam and is considered a fundamental aspect that shapes a believer's character. Humility allows a person to acknowledge their flaws and weaknesses, keeping them away from arrogance and selfishness. It is essential for a person not to consider themselves superior to others, 
which is a hallmark of possessing humility. The Prophet Muhammad exemplified humility throughout his life and advised his followers to embrace this virtue. He treated everyone with the same respect, whether they were rich or poor, young or old, never displaying arrogance. Humility fosters compassion and fairness towards others. Through humility, a person can empathize with others and better understand their struggles. Additionally, humility strengthens one's closeness to Allah, as a humble person recognizes Allah's greatness and acknowledges their own limitations. This realization makes a person more obedient and devoted to Allah. Humility is not only important on an individual level, but also serves as a key element in organizing social life. Humble people contribute to the establishment of peace and harmony in society, preventing conflicts and disagreements. Humility purifies the soul of a believer, softens the heart, and makes them more harmonious with others. This virtue reminds us of the temporary nature of worldly possessions, encouraging a simpler and more meaningful life. As an essential aspect of Islamic ethics, humility ensures that a person sees themselves as nothing more than a servant of Allah, which keeps them away from arrogance and helps them lead a more balanced life. It is of great importance to remember these valuable pieces of advice that guide us in every aspect of life and to integrate them into our daily routines, ensuring peace and happiness both in this world and the hereafter. The timeless wisdom of Prophet Muhammad offers us the path to a meaningful life. By heeding his teachings and making these principles a part of our lives, we strengthen our faith and draw closer to Allah. Let's not forget that by recalling and applying these golden pieces of advice in every moment of our lives, we become better individuals and earn Allah's favor. Until our next video, stay safe and may Allah bless you.